today we're at Nosley Safari where we're going to fly drones with optical and thermal imaging cameras over animals to obtain data. And I'm interested in taking the footage we're going to take today and running our astronomy algorithms on it to get thermal fingerprints of the animals. As you can see behind us uh, enables us to get much closer to animals than we would be able to in the wild. And that means we can get very precise um, video footage of them and we can, we're using thermal cameras, we're interested in the, their heat signature and we're able to build up a very precise fingerprint of what their thermal profile looks like. Traditionally uh, I spend most of my time going on foot into a forest, counting animals, walking through savannas, counting animals or flying in small aircraft and counting animals. And that's uh, a lot of fun but it's also quite costly and it's dangerous to fly in aircraft very low over forests. Uh, so drones allow us to replace these technologies or these, these survey methods to some extent because we can collect the data much more efficiently. Rangers are often very limited in, in uh, time and the number, so they need to be extremely efficient uh, with uh, data gathering. They also do a really risky job. Rangers get shot all the time. Uh, so if this technology can help them to, to find poachers faster and get a ping when there's a poacher coming up to a rhino or coming up to them, that could be hugely beneficial. We're focusing mainly on large mammals because many of those are the most critically endangered animals. But we're also uh, going to use it to find smaller animals like the riverine rabbit in South Africa, which is a very endangered uh, mammal. So the species that you can't use it on are species that, uh, that are really underneath the canopy, so that if you fly over you can't see them. Other species uh, that are difficult are, are species like reptiles, that, that those are the cold-blooded animals if you like, uh, because they don't, they don't have the, the, the thermal signature uh, as mammals have. The aid of all of this is to really help um, conservation uh, agencies to, to protect endangered species. And we're trying to develop the, the libraries of these thermal fingerprints that will enable them to identify and find animals all around the world. So that the hope is by using the footage from here, it will help researchers all around the world to save endangered species. The impact could be huge if we get to a point where the, the, the data collection and data analysis are so user-friendly that almost everybody can use it that opens up a tool for uh, a large number of small NGOs, smaller research groups and researchers in developing countries that could really use this.